Welcome, in front of me I have the Daji T10 and today I will go for unboxing along with a quick overview of this tablet. So anyway, let's just get straight into it and then pop it open. Thank you. Okay, in here we got a couple of different things, just not in a place that there should be. A little tool should have been clipped in here, but apparently Dodgy doesn't really feel like clipping things in. Uh, now the reason I'm saying that is because I did also unbox the T20. Same packaging, same accessories, and uh, this thing was literally on top of the device. Anyway, uh, here we got our Type A to Type C charging port. And we got our charger. Now this is a 24 watt charger. And then we got the uh, pseudo stylus. This probably will be the most disappointing thing if you thought that you're getting a stylus with the device because uh, one uh, side is a pen. And the other one is one of those crappy little things with this little plunder almost like. Uh, it works with any device and you can pick this up for any phone, anything like that, at a dollar store. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of like a China moment right here. So, I'm just going to not even include this. It's absolutely garbage and it's a joke that it comes with a device. Uh, it's just, if you're going to include something like that, just don't add it at all. Now, moving on to the device itself. We get our tablet. Let me just actually... Turn it on first once I locate the buttons which are at the top. There we go. There we go, so it's turning on right now. So, quickly going into the specs right here. Uh, in terms of the display, we have a 10.1 inch display with a resolution of 1200 by 1920. Uh, this is an LCD IPS display with a typical brightness of 300 nits, 75.8% screen to body ratio and 224 pixels per inch. So for a tablet, I would say this is kind of like a typical uh, spec, run of the mill, nothing really special. Now it is uh, also running on Android 12, so you're getting almost the newest Android that you possibly can. And moving on, uh, in terms of the battery and just like processor and other stuff, we have 8300 milliamp hour battery, so a pretty decent battery size right here. Uh, also, it's being powered by Unisec T606 processor. I'll be completely honest, I have no clue how powerful it is, so uh, sorry for that, but it's something that you will, I guess, have to check out. Not necessarily versed in the Unisec processors. Oh, so, yeah. Now, we do have also 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of built in storage. And then, in terms of cameras, at the back and the front, that's first go to the back we have a surprisingly a dual camera setup as you can possibly see so uh, two cameras at least it looks like it uh, so the main one is uh, I'm getting confused right here so one of them is a 13 megapixel and the other one is unspecified okay so you know what, I'm going to meet in the middle and say, we have one camera. If they're not going to specify what the other camera is, it's not there. Um, and then at the front, as our selfie, we have a 13 megapixel sensor right up here. So, uh, in terms of videos, actually not 13, what am I saying? Uh, 8 megapixel, my bad. Uh, so in terms of videos, we're looking at uh, 1440p at 30 frames and 1080p at 30 frames. That's for the back sensors and at the front we're looking at 1080p 30. 
So there we go, those are basically majority of the info about this device. Now, um, quickly going into the price, uh, this device comes at about 140 euros, give or take. And obviously, depending on where you're gonna be buying it. Uh, and for that, we have a charger, cable, a device, and a case for it that comes already applied. Uh, now, one thing that I'll mention, this one actually has a bit of a nicer looking case than the a more expensive version of it. I do kind of dig the darker version of the cover. Uh, you can also use that cover as a stand. So if you just kind of like do this, boom. And you have a little prop top. So that's kind of nice that it comes included. Um, it's something really special. It also ironically seems like it fits the device a little bit better than the, uh, than the more expensive variant just to bring this into view. So as you can see, this is the other one. Uh, it kind of protrudes a way more off of the device right here and just feels cheaper. For some reason, it feels worse than this, even though this device is actually more expensive. So yeah, I just wanted to point, point that out. Uh, this case right here actually feels pretty damn nice compared to the more expensive version. And also, it lights up when you lift it up. I don't recall this one was doing. Oh, no, never mind, there it is. So I was just... Okay, so this one does the same thing. For some reason, it didn't happen at the beginning. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now, quickly going into the pros and cons of this. Uh, the pro would be the at least a really nice looking case right here, better than the more expensive one. Uh, the display, it's pretty good in terms of resolution. Uh, the battery life, also pretty decent. And that's about all the positives. Now, when it comes into more of the negatives, uh, we have a relatively small battery, or not battery, the relatively small um, storage size at 128 gigs. Now, I presume we can pop in an SD card, so that's not really that big of a problem when you can extend it further. But just wanted to mention that by default, it is uh, only at 120 gig storage. Uh, it's being powered by Unisec uh, T606, which uh, at the price, I will probably presume that it's nothing great. I am just kind of guessing about it, basing it on like experience and stuff like that at this price range and the name. I don't expect this to be a good processor. Um, obviously, I could be completely wrong, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. I do want to kind of stress this. Uh, but other thing that is a negative are the cameras. Uh, number one, the, the main one, the 13 megapixel, obviously won't be anything great. And the uh, secondary kind of like uh, unspecified uh, camera, they just, they, no bueno, either specify it or don't include it at all. Like, what am I looking at here? What is this camera supposed to be? So uh, we have kind of like a scammy thing going on in here with uh, just almost camera info. And uh, obviously the main one is not that great either. There we go, that's about all there is to say positive or negative about this device. In general, for the about 140 euro price tag, I think it's a pretty okay device. Uh, it seems to be running... Hello, if you can unlock. It seems to be running okay-ish. Obviously, it's not gonna win any kind of speed awards right here. It does kind of chug, uh, even like when you're flipping the pages, you can just feel the little bit of a sl slowness for it, from it. But other than that, it it's an okay device. It's obviously usable. Uh, if you tend to do like just browsing the web, uh, some Netflix watching on your tablets, then this device will do all that without much of a problem. So for that, it's obviously going to be great. And the price is actually a pretty, pretty good price, I would say. So anyway, with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.